This video explains what an inguinohernia is and what to expect before, during, and after the operation. The abdominal wall consists of several layers of tissue that protect the intestines. A hernia occurs when there is a weak area in the layers of the abdominal wall through which small parts of the intestines or fat can slip. If this occurs in the groin area or inside the upper thigh, it is called an inguinal hernia. You will notice a bulge when you exert pressure on the abdomen, for example when coughing or lifting something heavy. In men, the hernia may extend into the scrotum. The inguinal hernia can grow over time, and the only way to repair it is with surgery. If the inguinal hernia does not bother you, you can wait without surgery. However, if the inguinal hernia becomes larger or causes pain, surgery is usually recommended. If the inguinal hernia is not operated on, there is a risk that part of the intestine will become trapped in the hernia gap. If the blood flow to the bowel is compromised, this part of the bowel may die. This is a medical emergency. If you have a bulge that cannot be pushed back, is extremely painful, changes color, or if you have nausea or vomiting, go to the emergency room immediately. Inguinal hernia surgery is a frequently performed operation and you can usually go home on the same day. From midnight before the operation, you are not allowed to eat or drink anything. If you regularly take medication, ask your doctor beforehand which ones you should and should not continue to take. At the hospital, you will be asked to change into hospital clothes. A nurse will place an intravenous axis on the arm or hand so that the anesthesiologist can give you sedatives to relax and sleep. In most cases, you will receive general anesthesia, which means you are completely asleep and a thin tube is inserted into your airway to supply oxygen during surgery. A bladder catheter may be inserted to assist the drainage of urine, however, this is done extremely rarely. These are all removed at the end of the operation. Depending on the case, your surgeon will perform an open or laparoscopic hernia operation. Traditionally, an open inguinal hernia surgery is performed through a 5 to 8 cm long incision directly above the inguinal hernia. The surgeon then pushes the bulge of the inguinal hernia through the hernia gap back into the abdominal cavity. A laparoscopic hernia surgery is done through three tiny incisions in the abdomen. To make room for the two instruments and the camera, the abdominal cavity is filled with gas or air. From behind the abdominal wall, the surgeon retracts the bulge of the inguinal hernia through the hernia gap into the abdominal cavity. In order to prevent a new inguinal hernia, the layers of the abdominal wall are then reinforced in both surgical procedures. In most cases, a durable synthetic mesh is used for this purpose. Finally, the incision or incisions on the abdomen are closed with self-dissolving sutures. Immediately after the operation, you will be taken to the recovery room for monitoring. When your heart rate and breathing are stable and you are fully awake again, the intravenous access to the arm or hand can be removed and you can go home with a prescription for painkillers. For the rest of the day, don't make any important decisions and you should not operate heavy machinery or drive a car by yourself. Ideally, someone should take you home. The operation usually takes between 30 and 60 minutes. You will then be in the recovery room for a few hours. The incision or abdominal incisions will be covered with gauze bandages and you will receive specific instructions on how to take care of the wound. The recovery time varies depending on the size of the hernia, the surgical technique, as well as your age and health. Complete recovery usually takes four to six weeks. While intensive activities such as sports and heavy lifting are limited for several weeks, you can usually resume normal activities within a few days. Depending on how strenuous your work is, you can expect to return to work within one to two weeks. If you have any further questions, please contact your doctor.